Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my tutorial. Uh, in my previous tutorial, I taught you how to make a report in Visual Studio 2010 using Crystal Report. Um, and how you can, you know, select that particular report and show the entire report. But in this tutorial, we're going to, you know, deviate slightly. We're going to just uh, try to select the, you know, the report for a particular uh, ID or a particular person or a particular entry that's in the database instead of selecting the, the entire or instead of showing the entire report that is uh, being generated. Now, in the previous tutorial, this is how it looks. This is the form uh, where you can show the report. Uh, this is the report itself. Uh, its name is demo p.rpt and I just place the report on this uh, form called report form. Okay. Uh, now, this is how it looks. Let's quickly review it. This is how it looks. When I click on this form, I mean this button, show report. It's gonna display the entire report like this as it has been reviewed in our previous tutorial so in this when I click on uh, the button share report I have the entire report for this Heidi's uh, 100 100 100 103 and 104 and so on and so forth so I have the entire report but in, in a conservative environment if I simply want to the report for this guy called Foucault with ID 100. Uh, probably if I went for 101, how do I go about it? Uh, this this thing I'm gonna teach you today can help you to make bill using question report in VB.net. Uh, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna use two distinct methods to achieve our aim. So I would like you to follow me as I teach you and I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot from this and it's gonna help you in your projects. So let me just close this and uh, close this and let us make some little changes here. Now we have in this form we have only this button the share report. So I'm gonna go to the toolbox and add a, add a a combo box. I need a combo box. This is the first method. The first method is uh, selecting the combo box value. I need a, a label. This is a label. Okay. Let me just rename this label as uh, select ID. Okay, but this label looks a little smaller, so I would like to change the front of this label. You can do as much as for Martin as you want. So change this label to bold and the size to be 12. Okay, good. Uh, fine. Uh, this combo box, let me change the design in this combo box to, uh, to something like. Uh, Some look at the design name is combo box one, so let me change it to CV Ho Heidi so that it will be easy for me why I'm trying to use it. Anyway, I'm not really gonna be using it that much in this tutorial, but like I said in my previous tutorial, it is very important that you, you name your controls very well so that when you write a large sum of code, it's gonna be easy for you to identify which uh, you know control you're using at that particular point in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to bind this particular control to the database. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to select uh, the data source. So I'm adding project data source. I click on next. Data set next. And you know here if you have many connection string you just have to select the connection string for the database in which you're trying to access. For me, I have, um, I think, five connection strings, uh, and I just want to make use of this particular database connection string. So I'm clicking on this, and I'm clicking next. 
uh, we have options to use maybe you want to use functions that procedures views or tables for me I like to use tables because I have my values in the table so and I will be using this particular table in this tutorial and I'm gonna select this table in this particular table all I need is just the ID because I want to select this ID I want I want the, the value the ID value from this table to be inside the, the combo box so I need an ID only if I want I can change this data set name like uh, uh, reports data set okay then click on finish here just click on the display member it's gonna be ID uh, value member it's gonna be ID also and that will be all here. Here yeah, we've been successfully able to, you know, bind the database value to this combo box. So during this, we're gonna start the coding. I'll click on this, you know, you know, button share report, and uh, I start coding. Like I said, I'm gonna be using uh, something that I call the selection formula to select a particular. Uh, column values so first I import the system the data dot SQ client uh, import crystal decision the crystal report the engine import crystal decision dot share this allow you to access your you know report as well as your database so uh, I will start my coding now before I start this coding I would like you to know and understand that I'm gonna be using this report this particular report which I have placed on this firm in another firm so I need to try to access it so I won't code it directly so all I'm gonna do in this coding is just first I'm gonna call the particular firm in which I have placed my report which is from REP and uh, you know use the data in the firm then access the crystal report view so just check it out like this from REP that crystal report view of one dot enabled equals to true okay from REP that crystal report viewer uh, that uh, report source equals to uh, now I need to check the report source and uh, I will click on this uh, to check the full part of the report okay I'll copy the full part and I paste it this is the part for the report uh, and from RP that crystal report viewer that selection formula equals to this uh, okay uh, now in this what we're gonna do is just trying to take the database name or database name which is this is the database name I'm just gonna copy from here then that the column which you're using which is ID column then equals to Because the, we concatenate it, we are trying to, you know, access of, you know, the data from the combo box. So we're just gonna say CBO one, CBO ID, dot selected value, dot to string, fine. Uh, then we're gonna say from REP dot crystal report. from REP that creates the report viewer that refresh report good and finally we're gonna show the report so just control save save it and trash and uh, 
let's see what they're able to achieve with this. When I select this combo box, it has been any of the values in this combo box, and I click on this button, share report, I want that particular value to the ID to be shown. Uh, I don't know what's this error. The firm referred to says construction for the first instance. Let me find a caution. This code is right. I don't know why it's coming like that initially. So now we can have a particular ID which is 100. It's displaying. So and you select another ID 106 when you click on show button. Only 106 is displayed, not the entire report that it's been shown initially. So uh, Someone asked me probably this question, and, and the question is very logical. What if I don't want a button show? What did I want to do with a button show? What if I want to just select this combo box value and, you know, automatically I just get my report for that particular ID that I select? So, this is what we're gonna do. It's as simple as anything. Just double click here and copy all this code. Copy. Just copy it and paste it here. Uh, that answers your question. And just try to load it. Uh, and selection of this particular ID. Look at it. We got it. ID here. And that is all. It's been done. Another person will probably come up with a question like, what if I don't want a combo box? What if I have a text box? But if I have a text box, I want a text box, I don't want a combo box, so again, you come here, just, uh, just delete this, and just add a text box. Now let me just change the designing, like I've always, you know, say, it's, it's good to change the designing, so that you don't get confused. TXT ID. So, uh, this code is going to change a little like it. And I have to move this particular code again back from here because I've deleted the, the combo box out and paste it back in my button. That on the, when user type that particular ID in the text box, uh, you know, it would be able to to retrieve it like the, the, that particular report by clicking on the button. So I'm going to change this to txt id dot text. Fine. And then this find this should be good. Okay. So when I click on 100 and then when I type 100, I'm going to click on show button. The report for 100 is been displayed. And that is how you can, you know, select a particular ID there increase the report using selection formula I hope you've learned from this tutorial and uh, I hope you can make a bill uh, with this because some people think uh, it's difficult to make bill with crystal report but seriously with uh, this particular crystal report selection formula it is actually easy selection formula that is the key selection formula 
Okay, so I come to you with another tutorial next time. I remain Dollar Little Michael. Thank you for, you know, watching.